Hello, welcome to this advanced online corset masterclass organized by University of Patson Drafting. If you have just joined this lecture group, you are very welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you've been here for a while, I am so sure that you've gone through all of the videos and you have gotten great value for the money that you paid for this class. So I have actually gotten a lot of great reviews from people who have taken this course. And they sent me really nice pictures. I've uploaded some, some I probably forgot to upload, and then some were not. Um, so the lighting and all of that of the pictures were not so clear, so I couldn't upload them. However, that just gives me confidence that you know all the people who have taken this course and taken it seriously have gotten great value for their money. And a lot of people who have taken the course have asked if. I have other courses available. Yes, we do have other courses available. We have this dinner gowns and dripping masterclass, which is currently ongoing. We still had a class yesterday, October 3rd, 2022. So it's a class for people looking to um, improve their skill, especially those um, into evening wears, bridal wears, and then those who majorly make complex Ashrevi styles. We also have this shorts and trouser masterclass, very detailed class. Then there's this princess called Strapless Garments and Ashevi Masterclass. This class is really packed. Not all garments are to be made as corsets. Do you understand? You should actually perfect your skill of making outfits with princess darts that fit perfectly well. We also dealt with princess darts with inbuilt corsets. Do you understand? How to snatch, achieve a snatched waistline with princess darts. Do you understand? So it's just a very, very, very important class. I feel like this is a foundational class that people who are into um, custom made, aka Ashoy B, should actually take. Then also we have this corporate wears and ready to wear masterclass. This is for those whose business is focused on ready to wear. So um, we're going to be teaching sort of like a beginner slash intermediate class. So how to draft professional patterns for your ready to wear line, you know, um, finishing methods. You know, it's just very in-depth course on ready to wear. And then it contains um, information on the business side of running a ready to wear brand. Where to source for materials, you know, you know, how to keep your records how to, um, it contains um, information on marketing, gents and best methods to market your ready-to-wear brand and all of that. Then we have this upcoming class, really important class. This is like my most requested for class and I'm finally dropping it. This is the waste snatching class and it's just 3,000 Naira. So I'll be explaining in details the calculations regarding waste snatching. I'll also be explaining and showing you how to line your corsets or princess dust garments in order to achieve a snatched waistline. I would also be showing you um, how to achieve a snatched waistline for plus size women. I would also be showing you the best boning methods to achieve a snatched waistline. Also, please note that there's a way to um, lace up your corsets in order to achieve a snatched waistline. I'm going to be showing you that. I'm also going to be showing you how to um, create invisible boning channels. So boning channels that don't show on the fashion fabric or the lining fabric. So if you're interested in any of these classes, you can send me a WhatsApp message or a private Telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen. So let's go on to our class for today. So remember that in part one, when we're analyzing this style, we mentioned that she's wearing a um, short underneath the dress. So if you look very closely at this picture, you would actually see that you would actually see the outline of the shirt. So it's a really small bomb shot. If you look very closely, you would actually see it. Do you understand? Beneath the transparent lace fabric. So that's what we're going to be creating. And to create that, I'm going to be using my regular shirt pattern. So to um, draft your shirt pattern, please go to my YouTube channel and you would actually find this video tutorial on how to, a sharp, sharp method on how to draft your short pattern. So the only difference between um, this one that is on the YouTube channel and what we're going to be using is that there's going to be no darts. So what you're going to do is, if you 36 inches for the hip line, then use the same 36 inches for the waistline because we're going to be using elastic at that waistline. So this is my short pattern that I've drafted and then this is the Lycra fabric. Remember that the short is made from the Lycra fabric. So this is the short pattern, both front and back. There's no allowance on this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and impute 
my allowance on when cutting my fashion fabric so this is my pattern and as i mentioned earlier i said if whatever you use for your hip arc use that same thing for your waist arc so i use 9.5 for my hip arc remember arc measurements are circumference measurements divided by four so i use that same 9.5 on as my waist arc do you understand so this is my front and back pattern and we're doing that because we're using um, elastic at that waistline remember that so i'm going to go ahead and cut out on my um fabric however before then i just wanted to show you the length that i used i used about 13 inches do you understand that so remember that this pattern does not include allowance however i can actually even make it shorter i can make it as short as um let's say 11 inches just because it's just a really short bomb short so this is my fabric as i mentioned earlier i'm using um, lycra so i'm placing this and then i'm going to go ahead and impute my allowances so for the hemline you can impute an extra one inch do you understand sorry an extra 0 0.5 inches then for the side seam you can use one inch do you understand that so this is this is my back pattern and then the other one is my front pattern and then on the other side aside from the side seam you can use 0 0.5 inches which is what you can see that i used here so I'll go ahead and join this. I'll join the side seam and then join the crotch area and then just join everything. And this is what it looks like. I've gone ahead to join it. You can see that I actually used French seam because I didn't want to have to stress with whipping. However, because we're trying to achieve a really flat um, nude effect, do you understand? You should actually whip it so that everything is just flat. There's no bulk and all of that. So now my waist measurement is 26 inches so i would subtract um about you can subtract between um six and eight inches from your waist measurement to know how much to cut for your elastic so I'm, I'm cutting out 20 inches for my elastic so that's 20 inches that you can see me cutting out and then i'm going to go ahead and join this um elastic that i've cut for my waist into a like a single band gentle so i'll join it at this point gents and i'll just sew it up at those edges so this is what it looks like after sewing it you can actually go ahead and bond those raw edges so that it doesn't keep fraying so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to sew this to the shot so remember that we've joined the shot at the side seam too so place the right side of the elastic and you see that's the right side of the elastic Place it facing the right side of your shirt. Do you understand that? And then sew that all the way around. So this is what it looks like. Like just clean and smooth. Now the essence of not actually creating a band is because we don't even want bulk at that waist area. Do you understand? I want it to be as flat as possible. So if we go ahead and start creating a band and then now start inserting the elastic into the band, it will just add extra bulk. So now to finish this up, just bend it in. Can you see that? And then just tack at, you know, setting maybe like four points. So I'll tack at that point and then also tack at the side seam so that the elastic just stays down. So it's just clean and smooth. I think it's actually better to just whip your raw edges instead of like using French seam or so, so that you don't have any form of box. So this is what it looks like. I've tacked it down. So you can just see how clean and smooth everything is. Just and then as for the hem too, you can also go ahead and whip it instead of like hemming it the way that I did, so that there will be no bulk, so that it's just flat on the skin. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't look flattering, but when I put it under the outfit, you will see how nice and clean it is, and then you see that we actually achieved that nude effect. So this is what it looks like. Like see how nice and clean. So this is the um, dress that we created, like the Osasi Godaro's dress that we tried to replicate do you understand of course we just a couple of alterations so i'm going ahead to fix the yoke and in the part 10 of this class i'm going to be showing you how to attach your yoke like this is a very important aspect because this is where lots of people actually get stuck so there are just um, tips and tricks for fixing this thing so you can see i've fixed this if you look very closely you would actually see the nude net Jensen, you can actually see the contrast between the shoulder and that um, stump at the arm. So you know that I've actually fixed the net. 
so i fixed this and i'm going to be showing you how to do that in the part 10 of this class so this um, advanced online course master class actually contains the full module on how to create this osasi godaro dress it also, it also contains a lot more topics like victorian corset you know and some other types of corsets so feel free to join that class also if you want to join our general telegram group please follow the telegram link in the description box and if you are not subscribed at this point please endeavor to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching ciao